Hello everyone, Adrian here, and today I'm going to show you how to deploy a C-sharp application to your Meadow F7 microboard. And we'll do this on my Mac using Visual Studio for Mac. Now before I jump into it, very important, make sure your board is provisioned and make sure you have the latest version of Meadow OS installed. If you haven't done that, you're not sure what I'm talking about, head to the beta developer website, beta hyphen developer dot wildernesslabs dot co that is dot co go to getting started and deploy meta os if you don't know what i'm talking about read all the stuff tons of great uh, information on getting started and how to develop for meadow my board provisioned so i'm going to jump right into it and i'm going to open up visual studio now this is full-blown visual studio 2019 for mac uh, i am running on the stable channel and i always keep my visual studio up to date now, before we get started, we need to make sure that we have the Meadow extension installed. To do that, we'll go to Visual Studio, Extensions. Now, I happen to have it on the system. I'll remove it and reinstall it to show you the process. We do this using the Extension Manager. Click on the Gallery tab. Uh, you might need to refresh to get the latest version. And then search for Meadow. If I highlight this here, you see it's installed. I'm just going to uninstall it and reinstall it. Now, at the time of recording, we're on version 0.3.2. can almost guarantee by the time you watch that, that will be increased. Um, this will update fairly regularly, uh, just like Meta OS, just like Visual Studio. Definitely best practice to keep this as up to date as possible. And that's all it takes. We're ready to go. We'll close down the Attention Manager. And with this installed, I can now go to New Project in Visual Studio. And if I scroll down, there's a Meta section. And we're going to make a brand new Meadow application. Let's just call this uh, Hello F7 for our F7 micro board. Hit the Create button, and this, of course, is going to make our brand new Meadow application. Now, while this is initializing, I want you to look in the upper left-hand corner. And notice it says Meadow, and we have a, a number here. That's actually the serial number of the device. And that's because I have it plugged into my Mac via the micro USB cable. Uh, it's grayed out because there's only one device, only one to choose from. Uh, in the future, there'll be support for multiple devices. Uh, I won't spend too much time exploring the anatomy of this application, but it's, uh, it should look pretty familiar and actually feels a whole lot like a regular .NET Framework console application. If we head to program, we see our old friend static void main. Uh, this is instantiating uh, an app instance here. We've got an app class. And I uh, highly recommend you look at the docs, take a look at this code, you can see how we communicate with the hardware. Uh, but what's really important here is we're going to control three LEDs. And there are actually three LEDs in one. There's a built-in RGB LED on this board. And we're going to flash that. So to do that, well, actually, our app is all ready to go. Let's push the play button and see what happens. This is going to compile the application. And then it's going to transfer that application and any required binaries to the Meadow board. Uh, this is going to open up a Meadow console window here. And this is going to give us uh, really important information about setting up the Meadow board, uh, as well as give us access to any console write line calls in our application. Now, this is a brand new, uh, freshly configured board. So this actually has to do a little bit of setup. And you'll notice it's not super quick, and that's because we're putting on all of the required DLLs uh, for Meadow. Now, this doesn't happen every time. This only happens on the first deploy. So this will be a little bit slow, and I'm going to probably sit ahead in the video here. But this will take mm, two, maybe three minutes at most, and then it's going to push over the application. Now, all the files have been transferred over, and Visual Studio now actually resets the Meadow board. And we see these series of dots, and those dots actually mean that the files on the device are being loaded. So it's actually loading all those things we transferred over. Uh, as you see the message here, we can ignore that exception. Now that will be rectified in a future version. And now notice in the window, we're seeing console output. We see our state true and false, but really what we more importantly, let's check out our Meadow board and we see the LED is flashing. 
There we go. Um, this is how we deployed the applications to our Meadow F7 Micro.